Hi, let's solve one previous question of Turing machine. This question was asked in GetCS 2021 set 1 question number 39. For a Turing machine M, M denote an encoding of M. Consider the following two languages L1. M take more than 2021 step on all inputs. L2. M take more than 2021 step on some input. Which one of the following options is correct? This is a repeated question. Same question was asked in GetCS 2016 set 2 question number 44. There it was written 2016. In this question they written 2021. Counting number of steps is always decidable. It will be either halt in final state or non-final state. It will not go into the loop. So it is always decidable. You can say this is a recursive language. L1, L2 both are recursive as counting any number of steps can always be decided. We can design a Turing machine for L1 which will take more than 2021 step on each input and you can consider W less than equal to 2021. It may halt an accepting state or rejecting state. Similarly, you can create a Turing machine for L2 that will take more than 2021 step on some inputs. You can consider W less than equal to 2021. It may halt on final state or non-final state. We can design Turing machine for both L1 and L2. That's why both are decidable. Answer will be option A. Both L1 and L2 are decidable. Let me explain through an example how counting number of step is decidable. I'm considering one Turing machine for A power N, B power N, C power N, N greater than equal to 1. I already designed Turing machine for this. Here language is A power N, B power N, C power N, N greater than equal to 1. Which string it will accept? It will accept equal number of A followed by equal number of B followed by equal number of C. A, B, C, 2A, 2B, 2C like this. Let me consider two languages. L1, M take more than X steps on all input. L2, M take more than X steps on some input. Let me consider a string A, B, C and drawn this on this Turing machine and see how many steps it is taking. Initially, redirect pointer will be here. By seeing A, A will be X and will move right. So this A will change to X and redirect header will move right. This is our step 1. Then by seeing B, B will change to Y and will move right. This will be our step 2. This B will change to Y and will move right. Then by seeing C, C will be changed to Z and will move left. This is our step 3. This C will change to Z and will move left. Then by seeing Y, Y will be Y and will move left. It is our step 4. Then by seeing X, X will be X and will move right. This is our step 5. Now the right header will be here. Next, by seeing y, y will be y and will move right. This will be our step 6. Then by seeing z, z will be z and will move right. This will be our step 7. Next, by seeing blank, blank will be blank and will move right. This will be our step 8. And we are reaching to final step, so it will accept. So first language, m take more than x step on all input. You can consider x equal to 7. And for all input, minimum string is A, B, C and for A, B, C it is required 8 step. So for all input, it will take more than 7 step. Now consider L2, M take more than X step on some input. If you consider X equal to 10, then for this A, A, B, B, C, C and more than that any string, N value is greater than or equal to 2, it will take more than 10 steps. Or even you can consider this is 7. So it will take more than 7 steps on some inputs. I explained this example just for understanding how we can count the number of step. Counting number of step is always decidable while counting number of string, counting string length are undecidable. But counting number of steps is always decidable. At step 8 it is going to final halt. 
at step 7 it will go to non final halt at step 4 it will go to non final halt so either it will be final halt or non final halt it will never goes to loop so it is decidable so answer will be both l1 and l2 are decidable if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you